Hello, in this problem we're going to find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over the square root of s. And there's several ways to do this. We're going to do this using a familiar formula. So, solution. The formula that we're going to use for this is the following. You have the Laplace transform of t to the negative 1 half. This is actually equal to the square root of pi over s. So that's the formula for the Laplace transform of t to the negative one half. Laplace takes this and sends it to this. That means that the inverse Laplace undoes that. So the inverse Laplace transform of the square root of pi over s. This is going to go back to t to the negative one half. Right? Because if the Laplace takes to this and sends it to this, the inverse Laplace takes this and sends it back to this. Okay, so in our problem, we have something very similar. We have one over the square root of s. Here we have the square root of pi over s. So note that you can actually write this as the inverse Laplace of the square root of pi over the square root of s, and that's equal to t to the negative one half. Okay, so now we're going to apply this uh, formula to our problem. So I'm going to go ahead and write down our actual question, which is the inverse Laplace of 1 over the square root of s. And we want to use this formula. So in our problem, we're missing something. We're missing the square root of pi. So what I'll do is I'll just write it there. Inverse Laplace, square root of pi over square root of s. So you can just put it there but you have to take it away. So I'll multiply by one over the square root of pi. And so you see now they cancel. So everything is the same. And now we can apply our formula, which is right here, to this piece here. So this is equal to one over the square root of pi times t to the negative one half. Right? Because this piece I've circled here uh, in white and in blue is equal to t to the negative one half. So you can rewrite this. You can write this as one over the square root of pi times one over t to the one half, if you like. And you can write it under the same denominator, et cetera. M multiple ways to write it, but that would be the final answer. Good luck.